Are you ready for some high school football with John Huddleston and Gary Harris? Covering all your local high school football highlights and scores. And now, Football Friday on WVUA. Good evening, everybody, and welcome in to the fourth week of WVUA's Football Friday for 2011. Highlights from 10 West Alabama games are on our schedule tonight. We begin with a long-standing Tuscaloosa County rivalry as the unbeaten Hillcrest Patriots played host to the 1-2 and two TCHS Wildcats. Let's take you down to Hillcrest, and it was uh, pumped, of course. And there's the 2000 and 11 and 2008 state basketball championship teams being honored at halftime. Late in the second quarter, Wildcats down by seven. Tyler Gates finds Prince on an eight-yard touchdown pass. We're tied at seven going to the half. We got ourselves a ball game. Same score now late in the third quarter. Patriots face a fourth and eight at the county high 35. They go for it. Luke Wingo, Wingo scrambles and finds OK Bryant on a 22-yard completion. That is clutch, and clutch in the game of football is everything. First down at the Wildcats, 13. Two plays later, Wingo keeps, and after breaking a few tackles, gets it in for the 13-yard touchdown. Hillcrest goes up 14-7, under 11 minutes left in the fourth now. County High facing a fourth and three at the Hillcrest, 35, and they go for it. But Trey Davis jumps the route, and he is gone. You talk about a game-changing play. That's it, 76 yards. Gates has had problems with interceptions this season. It continues tonight. Patriots lead 21 to seven. They go on to take it 28-7. Hillcrest beats County High for the second consecutive year. And that is a big region victory for the Patriots as they remain unbeaten. I tell you that Hillcrest Northridge game is shaping up to be a doozy down the road. Speaking of Northridge, the Jags hosting GW Carver High School. And on the First play of the game, Northridge, James Cox gets the pass, and he does the rest. Man, that little play has become so effective. You see it in high school, you see it in college. Long touchdown for the Jags. Northridge goes up seven to nothing. This team's got some playmakers. Next drive for the Jags, James Cox again. Another touchdown pass, Jags go up 14 to nothing. Then later in the first quarter, it's the gifted sophomore running back, Bo Scarborough, right into your living room. This young man has got some talent. Northridge up big, and the Jags, as they were getting it on tonight, 43-6 over Carver, and Northridge improves to 4-0 as well on the season. Northside hosting Greensboro in Class 3A Region 4 action. Northside quarterback Ryan Perry is going to get picked off here by Big James Brown of Greensboro. And he makes it a pick six, seven nothing Greensboro. Now on offense, Quante Brown scrambles, keeps, cuts back, and he's gone. Raiders lead it 14 to nothing now. Still 14 to nothing in the first quarter. Actually the second quarter now, but 14 to nothing. Northside punting. And that is to Kendrick Bradford. And he is electric. Touchdown, 21 nothing as we go to the final. Greensboro tonight rolls over Northside, 46-6 the final. Well, we've still got seven stops to make here on Football Friday, and still to come, Hell County welcome Gordo to town for a huge Class 3A Area 4 contest. But first, the Bryan High Stampede played host to rival Brookwood in Class 5A Area 3 action this evening. Highlights are on the way next when we return to Football Friday here on WVUA TV. Welcome back to Football Friday. A couple of two and one football teams got together tonight for a Class 5A Region 3 contest as Brookwood made the 
short trip over to Bryant High School in Tuscaloosa. We were there, of course, and the Bryant Stampede mascot ready to roll over some Panthers tonight. We'll pick it up. No score in the second quarter. Bryant with the ball. Joseph Pratt finds Christopher Moore Odom on the little trip screen. And that's what you do. You get the ball into these playmakers' hands, and they make plays. You talk about a playmaker. Tony Whitehead is a player. Corner out. Watch him adjust. Pratt just throws it up there, and Whitehead goes and gets it. PAT was missed. 6 0. Stampede on top. Still in the second quarter. Pratt to Whitehead again. And this is pretty. Watch him turn on the Jets. Right past our camera. 55 yards. 12 to nothing. And as we check out the final tonight, Bryant shuts out Brookwood. Panth the uh, Stampede, I should say, moved to 3 and 1. Panthers fall to 2 and 2. 33 0 the final score. Sipsy Valley hosting Montevallo tonight. We're going to pick it up third quarter. Montevallo up 21 to nothing. There's our esteemed governor, Dr. Robert Bentley, taking in some high school football. And Montevallo on the move again. Jarius Chapel just pops out of there. Looked like he was down. Got to wrap him up, Sipsy Valley. Winds up taking it for six, 28 to nothing. The visitors on top. Chapel is a horse, so why not ride him? He gets it again. 35 nothing, Montevallo at this point. Sipsy Valley, though not giving up. This team has played with heart all year long. Garrett Lewis scrambling. And then shows some amazing athletic ability right here. Picking up a first down. And then the handoff to Douglas Hinkle. And he scores on the end of round. Sipsy Valley gets on the board. The Bears down 35-7 at this point as we check out the final. That would be the final. Montevallo takes it 35-7 tonight with the governor of Alabama in attendance. All right, let's talk a little uh, football right here. We've got Selma in town to take on Central Tuscaloosa. Early in the third, Selma down by 13. Alexander Burton gets the handoff and takes it in for six. Selma now down by six. Late in the third, Selma on the move again. Darian Alexander connects with Antoine Summers for the touchdown, and Selma takes the lead. Late in the fourth, Central down by one. Fourth down, Vincent Davis airs it out, but Central can't make the play. The Falcons come close, but they fall tonight at home by the narrowest of margins, 14 to 13. Selma takes it over the homestanding Central Falcons. Unbeaten Tuscaloosa Academy traveling up to Pickens County to take on their rival Pickens Academy. This is always a tough, hard-nosed football game. No score in the first quarter. PA's Josh Lewis going to change that as he gets it in from about three yards out. The Pirates go up 7 to nothing. TA, though, comes right back. Jonathan Plott. Going to air it out for Jonathan Teasdale. Pretty play. Teasdale, a 38-yard reception. And T.A. will finish it off. Clay Thomas cuts it back, and he is ruled down. T.A. scored on the next play. Brooks Adams did to make it 7-7. Then it's Adams again right before halftime. Pounding it in from two yards out, putting T.A. up 14-7 at the half. And the TA goes on to win it. 35-14, the Knights take it. They are having one heck of a season as they beat their rivals tonight up there at Pickens Academy. Well, we need to take a timeout, but don't touch that dial. Still much more to come on Football Friday here on WVUA. John Huddleston will join me for our Alabama and SEC preview. But straight ahead, a battle of Class 3A Area 4 teams. The Hell County welcome Gordo to Moundville this evening. Highlights are up next on Football Friday. Hell County taking on Gordo. Early first quarter action. Gordo back to punt. But watch what happens. Right here. Kerry Lewis muffs it. Chavis McGee recovers. You can't advance it, but still it's Gordo football. And that sets them up in good shape. And you don't want to give Gordo opportunities like that because they always take advantage. Antonio Washington gets the touchdown. And it's six to nothing. 
Extra point was blocked. Gordo then uh, scores again. Wills rumbles 20 yards down to the Hill County 15 yard line and then after a five yard penalty on Gordo, Moss finds Story in the corner of the end zone. Greenway converts the two point conversion, 14 to nothing at that point in the game. And Gordo goes on to take it tonight in a resounding fashion over the Hill County Wildcats, 51 to six. The Green Wave big tonight down in Moundville. Holt hosting Dallas County had a one hour power outage in this one, so they were late getting started. But when they did, Holt uh, is really an improving football team as that young fan looks on. No score in the first quarter until David Robinson takes it in from 11 yards out. That made it seven to nothing Ironman. Holt again in the first quarter, continuing to keep the pressure on. Check that, this is the second quarter, but Holt with the nice play. Devonta Jenkins to John Hood, 13 to nothing as the point after failed. And this is a fake field goal. We missed the snap, but this is a fake field goal and then a reverse pass from Jenkins to Brian Murray. And that is executed perfectly. It was 28 to nothing at the half. And as we go to our scoreboard, it is now a final. Holt takes it 35 to eight. Big win for the Ironman over Dallas County. Finally, Bibb County hosting Jemison. And an interesting way for the Choctaws to get the first two points in this game. Jemison trying to punt. Uh-oh, high snap. Freeman Ellison can't handle it. It's two to nothing, Choctaws. But they've got an offense that can score plenty of points. CJ Cuts watching high step it into the end zone. Bibb County on top, eight to nothing. The PAT was no good. CJ Cuts is a player. 12 yards this time. The bruising running back gets it in. Two point conversion failed, 14 to nothing. Bibb County playing some D as well. Jemison, a nice play there, but not nearly enough of them. Wild game, Bibb County though takes it. 56-35 was the final score. Well, coming up next, our Football Friday Band of the Week and our complete Football Friday West Alabama High School scoreboard. Stay with us. More Football Friday coming up after this. Tuscaloosa County High School, our high school band of the week. Now, let's check the rest of tonight's scores. American Christian Academy hangs 70 on Isabella tonight on the road. 102 points total in that game. Offensive fireworks, Austin Grammer, Parker Barano, and the rest of ACA really lighting it up tonight. Keith uh, over Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Titans fall on the road, 49-0 the final there. Barry wins big at Meek, 56-14. Fayette County, a nice road win at Haleyville, 27-14. Also tonight, it was Green County at home over West Blockton, 58-20. Akron takes down Appalachian, 28-22. Pickens County wins at John Essex down in Demopolis, 53-14. And what is always a great game, this time Linden gets the best of Sweetwater. Wow, 25-14, Linden takes it over Sweetwater. Demopolis wins at Wilcox Central, 56-21. Tuscaloosa Christian falls on the road at Evangel, 43-30. North River Christian played at Flint Hill, and North River scored 83. Oh my goodness, looks like a basketball score. 83-36 over Flint Hill in eight-man football. Also tonight, Red Bay at home over Lamar County, 35-14. Brilliant traveled to South Lamar and got a victory, 21-14. Colbert Heights took down Seligent, 28-21. Sumter Central, blank south side of Selma tonight, 60 to zip. And on Thursday night, it was Sumter Academy winning at Marengo Academy, 49-14 was that final. All right, folks, week four of the high school football season is in the books. 